Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's cast. Today's match. Uh oh, someone's here. Vicious Koala. Thanks for the follow. Okay, uh, so welcome to the cast today, today everybody. Is the stream looking okay? Yeah, it's looking good. Uh, today we have Rise and A, 4 and 4 in advanced versus Hollow Esports, 5 and 3 so far in this advanced season. We missed last the last game. It was against Vitriol on Nuke. That was actually the first close game we've seen so far for Hollow Esports. Asian leading the pack by far in that game, coming in huge, 45 kills and 24 deaths, 111 ADR. Shma, not too close behind, but still second place, 34 frags, 82 ADR. Would have been a very exciting match to uh, watch. Unfortunately, I had uh, other obligations that I had to attend to at that time, and I was out of town. So, Hollow Esports, they are now on a five team win streak. Or five round like, against five teams in a row. So, a five game win streak, I'd say. I mean,. I count them as five and zero. Oh, honestly, I mean, first three games weren't with a with the full five. It was with a stand in which was with uh, Mickey, and kind of a mix up of the players. Ryzen A. Let's look at their stats right now. I'm sure it won't be quite as uh, obvious like the the what's it called win losses. I guess I don't know uh, the score line. There we go. So they had a loss against Brazen, who are pretty good. Loss against whatever it takes. Okay, that was a close game. 16-14. The loss against Ethereal. Ethereal is quite good as well. And a loss against Team Unbroken, which I believe is I think they're also quite good. Yeah, Team Unbroken 5-2. and two. Solid team as well. They did lose to Hollow Esports though, so yeah, that's why I recognize their name. So they've also had a fairly successful season so far. They aren't very far in the negative. This is a good test for uh, Hollow Esports. Again, it's on Overpass. It seems like every match that we've watched of Hollow Esports is Overpass. Uh, so, I mean, we expect those early plays. It's fairly confident plays. Uh, you might also notice I have a new... Wait, the cross... Is the cross there? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. I updated the cross there, so it's not my normal one. It's tiny, uh, so people hopefully can see it better. I mean, it's kind of a bad cross here, too, honestly. You treated one bit, Koala? Yikes. One whole bit in first place. So proud. Thank you for that. Let's see. Let's see if I can find a better crosser. Default green. Crosser. I just want to see. I just want a normal green cross like this one, but slightly thicker. Let's see. Uh, what's this to be? One. Wait, is, is Nightmare on life? No. Good. There's ring on with knives only. That's a good crosser right there. We're gonna copy paste that. Oh, that's, that's even bigger on my screen than it wasn't. Auto generator. Okay, we're making. We're we're doing a work in progress here. I decided that I wanted to make a cross there. Uh, so we're doing it. Size can go down one as well. Let's see, that should be good. Oh, that's live. That should be live, right? Yeah, we're already live. Sweet. So we're gonna put that in. Oh, look at that. That's a good crosshair right there. That's a good one. That's a good looking crosshair right there. Why does the bitrate look so low on the stream? Hmm. Hopefully, the stream looks okay. Let me know if it doesn't. However, knife friend is live. Looks like. Some of the rise players are AFK. So we are not knifing the normal spot. I don't want to get an aerial review of this. Actually, looks like they're all just appearing to play AFK. Here we go. I don't know if this is a confidence thing, if this is just AFK not ready thing. Oh, it's a fake thing. Okay. Here we go. The Hollow Esports is winning the knife round. Pretty uh, confidently. I'm trying to figure out where I want all my stuff. Because I have the overlay on, so I can't see people's names on my actual screen that I'm watching the game on. I can see it in OBS. That's about it. Before we won on the knife round, last one is violent. They're all looking to say this despawn. This is a bit of a power move right here. I'd say from the T side on knife round. What's up, Alpha Cop? Welcome to the stream. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Oh, they're knifing each other now. Yikes. I'd say it's a little bit cocky, but I mean Nox is still gonna get right clicked, so. Here we go though. Is is Violent coming? Is he coming? Ooh, he's looking for people. Trying to isolate this one on one to the knife round. So, my like saying, actually, I didn't check. We didn't get a lot of time. They actually started pretty quickly. It's only 6.02. So, Ryzen A, they've won. Hmm. Have they played this map at all? They played overpass. The first three maps overpass. They lost it lost it twice and won it once. So, I don't know how much we can gather from that. However, we do know that this is one of Hollow Esports' favorite maps. Hollow Esports, so far, have played it one, two, three. Actually, only three times as well. 
we did cast all three of those. Three of the four matches we've cast that they've won. Three of the five, actually. Uh, but three of the four that we've casted have been on overpass. That they won. So I'd say overpass is definitely one of their best maps. It's one of their most played maps by far. What are we doing over here, bud? Violent, you okay? He wants to ride the slide. All right, CT side chosen by Hollow Esports. Now we're gonna go and turn on the auto director. DMC, thanks for the follow as well. Ooh, that crosshair does look pretty good on stream. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty cute. Let's see. Okay, that's an inappropriate profile picture. Sick. Thank you for that one, Dare. I appreciate it. Hmm. Unfortunate, man. Wait, let's check real quick. There's a timeout, it appears. They do have, okay. So, we do have all the profile pictures updated for Hollow Esports. And Manax is the only one without a fancy picture. I was trying to update the pictures for them. Uh, I deleted it all. And it looks like I successfully deleted the cache that we had for the overlay. So, this should be good. Hey, Grammatics, thanks for the good luck. Wishes. Let's see what can happen here, dude. Let's see what can happen. It is an early timeout, though. I don't know from who. Oh, Bucktooth Bobby is the coach for a rise, but there is no simple on the server today for Hollow Esports. No coach. We'll see if that affects their game plan anyway. It looks like rise of people taking the time out because their players haven't bought yet. I think they're all moving around, so they're all ready. Hollow Esports, four players buying armor, two flashes, and a kit automatics. I wouldn't be surprised if they go for that same kind of play with the Maddox towards long bathroom side and putting that crossfire there for them coming into bathrooms, but I totally could be wrong. I mean, Ryzen 8 could be counter striding even too. Only time will tell, of course. Walker and Shane still have not bought. It appears that two players are AFK. Yeah, you can see them both just standing still. Oh, here come the Glock trades. Warn it for the long haul, ladies and gentlemen. Thought we were going to start quickly, too. I was excited. Unfortunate. Let's see what can happen. It's just pause. Pause is undone. Okay, okay. It's time. It's showtime, baby. They're all here. They're all moving. Four, four pieces of armor for Rise. One smoke, two flashes on Snav. Let's see what they do here. There you go. Four players going toward B this round for Hollow Esports. This is different from what they normally do, that's for sure. Only one player towards A. This is the much more kind of normal strat we see. It's just straight nades coming out B and playing less than Monster, but that's going to be an early contact here. Good trade so far. 4v3 for Hollow Esports. 3v2 now. Trade is still coming through. Falling back. Rise Nation, both players around Monster now. They should hear this. Hollow Esports is rotating around. Whiffing the headshots here, Shma does eventually get one, but it's traded out. Maddox gets the trade as well through the, behind the pillar. Actually backed up by Noxie as well. Good rotation from him on the from A. And that's pistol run for Hollow Esports 1-0. Okay, both names are yellow. That's a mayday. We've got to refresh the page. There we go. Should update here in a second. Actually, if I turn this off and turn it back on. Browser. There we go. Updated it. I'm always having a stroke, Alpha Cult. That's my thing. Here we go. Second round. Pretty much a full SMG or shotgun by no rifles here from Hollow Esports. Three UMPs, an MP9, and a pump shoddy. Rise Nation electing to save as well, only buying some pistols. Nothing crazy, no armor. And Max loves the shotgun and connector. Gets one, gets two, bomb down. And pistol picked up, and what, $1,800? Insane. Jazz him covering his upper connector as well. Jazz has to just fo solely focus down below. Two players now trying to cautiously get that bomb. But, I mean, they know they lost this round, and they should especially know it now that they lost the bomb and con. Most of them lurking up long, though. Lurking up monster. Violent with the Glock. Seeing what he can get done. Probably nothing. He's being spotted by Nox. Nox takes contact. Does shot, so some shots. There we go. Violent taken down. Last two players are in con. Jazzy peeks it. Taken down. A little bit aggressive there. Oh, server's experiencing some lag. Shane, good second as well with those deagles. And now they have right, uh, an MP9 and a shotgun. What happened to that door? Noxia, though, 
The door opened up. Good kill on the Asian. Okay. So many deagle kills here. Four deagle kills so far in the round. Nox, he knows he's rotating up. He's going to go through it. Yes, he is. And a good kill by him. Round way closer than it should have been. Noxio left on 7 HP. But they won. And since they had poor, actually, their money's poor now, too. And Rise is looking good for a rifle buy. And I think they should buy into this for sure, uh, considering the fact that Hollow Esports lost so many players in that previous round. Max, though, does have a lot of money. Alex to buy the op and drop it over to Schma, picking up the UMP. What a team player. A Maddie Kota, baby. All right. Let's see what happens here. Schma. Not peeking fountain. Not getting that aggressive. Water control established here by Hollow Esports. That's the lineup smoke from Asian. Uh, see if it lands this time. I think it did. Noxo is going over there to peek through the smoke. It is a one way. Uh, I got that from my insider information over at Hollow Esports. Violent. Kind of passive here towards Fountain. They're just sitting here. They're not pushing a party or anything. Waiting for some, uh, maybe some CT aggression with some SMG, so that's not going to happen. Jazz Pimp holding this close bathroom position. He loves holding there. He can cover bathroom and he can cover, uh, what is that? Short? Dirt? dirt? Is that what they call it? I don't even know. Sand? Here we go, though. Walker slowly establishing con control. Jazzy's not in there with a the shotgun this round. Now they have con control. They don't have water control. That's pretty important. So they could crunch in water, but they'll be greeted by two CTs. Noxio and Asian. One rifle, one SMG. Walking up monster. Let's see what happens. Noxio holding the really passive angle. Will they clear it? They will clear it, but he will get killed. Trying to get the trade. Gets another one. Asian gets a third. Violent does get the trade on Noxio, though. Now Asian falls back very wisely. Molly back to safety. There we go. Spot one monster. That UMP's not going to do the damage I want it to at range. That being said, he does do a half health. Good shots so that UMP accurate. Op is now rotated over heaven. They're trying to go for the plant here. Rise shouldn't be able to expect to win this round. Trying to go for the plant out of desperation, but the swing's coming through. They kill the guy not planting. The bomb does go down. It's a little bit of a blunder there. Shouldn't have given that much up for Hollow Esports. But they're playing it safe, taking the fight three on one instead of two on one. So Rise and I do get a little bit of extra economy there. Probably more than they should have. But Hollow Esports plays it safe, and now four players are surviving, and they're all upgrading to rifles. Three AKs and an op on the CT side. That's good. What's up, Zebs? There we go. 3 0 for Hollow Esports. First rifle round on the board. Rifle v rifle, I guess. They had a bit of a scrappy vibe, but they scrounged it together, had four players survive. Now they can pick up a lot of rifles for themselves, and that's a big boost to the economy right there. Now, Rise. They have a good amount of money. And yes, they can buy some better weapons here on the save round. Maybe some armor, yeah. Four players with the armor. Walker, like, they just have the uh, scout. No armor. Let's see what they do this round though. We saw them nearly pick up that last pistol buy. Not even with armor, just without and just raw deagle him alone. Three players again towards B and Maddox playing heaven here. But the players are indeed going towards A. Only one player lurking towards B. Other players in playground or towards fountain. Trying to peek together. Asian. Discipline on the short position. There we go, one spotted by Jasmine. Jasmine trying to get back. Already takes a heavy amount of damage from that deagle. Throws a smoke. Shma already bagging off. Smoke funnels him into the short position and hopefully allows Shma to have quick pickings with that op. That nade's gonna do some damage. Yep, snag tight on a 59 there. Ooh, he's boosted up though. Barely saving that line of sight, Shma. Barely saving himself from a hefty amount of damage from that scout, maybe even a death. Here we go now. Jasmine has to try to get his way out of this position, but the T's are actually falling off. They're going back for con control. Let's look at my split B here. One player looking to stay in the bathroom and one towards long. Maybe just throw a bit of a fake. Throw some bodies behind it. Here we go. Getting some info. Good kill to Jasmine. These deagles from Rise have been so influential, especially in these save rounds. Keeping the economy in check of Hollow Esports. That solidifies the two-man one-man rotate. That looks like a total retake here on B. Yeah, three players towards A and one player in heaven on B. Actually, two towards B. I'm right, and here they come out, Monster. Good Molly short to delay some time. Noxa gets one, but swiftly traded by Snap with that CZ. Violent gets another one with the Deagle onto Asian up in heaven. Now it's a 2v3, 2v4 excuse me for Hollow Esports. Schmall with the op and a max with the 8k. Peeking together in graffiti. 
Pushing out pretty aggressively. Maddox here not checking all of his angles. Shamal gets one, though. But now the AKs are picked up. Rifles here by Ryze. They are tagged up a good bit, but he has an op. Oh, picks up the AK. Oh, eh, okay. So, say so he has a fighting chance if they had AK against these uh, pistol players and the scout player. But scout swiftly takes his head off, and that's the round for Ryze. The first round on the board was a half buy. Good round from Ryze and A. And they're first on the board. Looking to keep the scout. Hollow Sports will be forcing into this though. They still have an op. They have a Moss and a UMP. And only a D1 Asian, but not horrible, all things considered. Their economy did, they got, did get that boost after they won with that scrappy buy of UMPs and SMGs. Dare. It's a long smoke. And a high flash. Good shot by Shma though. Not even falling back. Looking to hold this position. There's other players with him as well. Towards the fountain. And Jaspim gets the kill. And Shma kills the player attempting to trade on the Jaspim. Violent totally unaware that a player could be there. And Maddox and Khan, he loves that composition. Catches Walker as well. That UMP in. 5v1 now. Snav in an no, unwinnable position. Tries to swing through, but Jaspim close behind the smoke is the kill and the AK. And Max doesn't upgrade his UMP though. I wonder why not. The money's still pretty good on Rise. Violent on 7k. Dare on 5.8. Yeah, they're gonna buy into this. Snav buying AK armor. Nothing else though. Walker buying up the utility. Shane and Dare should do the same. Oh, actually, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good battle thing to consider. Snav's the only one without utility. And he has zero, but everybody else has full utility. We still see a, an UMP on Asian and a FAMAS on Noxio. So they could get kind of screwed over here with just the worst weaponry. Jasmine playing in con this time, not a Maddox. And they're getting establishing short control here. Again, Asian and Noxia, that dynamic duo. Trying to go for the one way. Again, these slow defaults from Rise. Three towards Fountain, one towards Playground. Actually, it's, like, no, it's only two towards Fountain, one con, one Playground, and one B. Trying to hold for the aggression from the CT side, but it's not going to come out. Hello Sports is a very disciplined team on this map, and they, I'm assuming they know at this point, they're just going for hoping that uh, the Hollow Esports gets aggressive, and that's not going to work. Here we go. Finally getting aggressive here towards bathroom, jump peeking, very cautious here from Rise. Shmona in that bathroom position. They can see, you can see Jason's gun sticks out, so that might be an issue here. If they do peek and Shmog isn't going to kill, they'll know he's there. There we go, though. Shmog is the immediate kill on the snav. You see the right? They should have seen the rifle. It's a good trade by Dare. Jasmine swings out, trying to get the trade. Does a little bit of damage, but nothing more. Now they're regressing onto him. They know he's here. Doesn't want to be caught with a grenade out. Swinging out. Good one. Good two. And a max at the third. Jasmine gets the final one. Swift four kills for Hollow Esports there. Good positioning by Jasmine Pinematics. The old one two punch. Jazzy and Jazz. And there we go. That's the fifth round on the board for Hollow Sports. And that should be the economy. Relatively broken for Rise. Yeah, pistol, pistol armor, scouts. Still UMP on Asian. He's not giving that one up. Knox on the FAMAS as well. Unable to upgrade in that previous round. Some lag here on the HLTV. Or is that a player? I don't even know. Or it's not HLTV, it's a Go TV. I think that's a player, actually. I think that's why they caused the pause, probably. Here we go, then. Actually, fairly aggressive and connected. They only do this when they're on like a half buy, which is really odd. Because they could do it so much more and get so much more information. Oh, no. A Maddox saw his head. Spam coming through. Okay. A Maddox gets the kill. I was wondering how much damage he did at first, and then he just disappeared. Fantastic. Good intro kill right there. I've always tried to do that. I've always tried to get this jump spot over it, looking at the door when it's open or when it's blown open. Never works out for me, but Maddox is such, just such a good player. So smart. So tall, so tall and handsome, honestly. But short control slowly gathered by the T side. Now they looks like they're bringing the bomb over to B. They have one player over towards Long Violent with that Deagle. And we know how dangerous these Deagles are on, in the hands of these T's. Here we go. Ooh, he actually gets tagged down by the Scout. He's tagged down to uh, 11 HP Asian, but he does get one for himself. And Nasa gets one on short as well. Flashing through to 2v4 now. Violent trying to lurk up A. Good peek onto Schma and Bank. You know, he's looking for Jazz. 
Swings into Jazz, but Jazz gets the kill. Good crosshair placement. Easy double tap headshot with that AUG. Now the player, one player's actually rotating up, leaving Noxio on B. Against the scout with the bomb, Walker. He's smoked off though. Walker's gonna try to push through this. He's running through. Noxio whiffs the spray a little bit. A little bit worrisome right there, but he gets the kill. He's tied down to seven as well, so that's pretty scary. Let's uh, step it up, Nox. That was a bit scary right there. I don't like that. I'm not like that. Here we go. Buy around once again. Asian still on the UMP. He has 7K. Money really being built here for the T side. Or CT side, excuse me. And Rise getting a good buyout. Full AKs, full nades. This is going to be a fast B play here. Hunting up some smokes. Looks like they're just setting up really. Doesn't look like it's going to be too fast. Here we go. Short control. Gained by Hollow Esports very aggressively. Smoke out. That's the one way. Yep, yeah, here come the smoke lineups. Jump thrown. Here comes the execute. It's going to be full nades here. The one way, though. Well, lagging across the screen. Noxio does kill one, though. Three players in short now for Hollow Esports. There's going to be a bit of a retake here, but they have good positioning for sure. They flash out. Ooh, good kill by Jasmine, too. Through the wall there. But Ryze have established control. They're probably going to get a bomb point down here. Walker gets a good kill to the smoke. But the rotators come through Monster and come through Graffiti. Now all four players from Hollow Esports collapse it on the site. Take out all of Ryze Nation. And four players survive. Is a Asian finally has an AK. And they're, they're waiting. They're giving it time to get the gun. So being very organized. The Max picking up the op. The drop to Shma. Goes down in heaven. Of course that nasty one tap through the smoke. But a convincing round once again from Hollow Esports. Keeping it calm and confident even after the bomb goes down. But Rise, their loss bonus has well been capped out. Oh, symbols in the server too. I didn't even notice. That picture inappropriate there. No. All right. 7-1 out for Hollow Esports. It's a full buy again for Rise. They got the bomb down on the max loss bonus. Going aggressive towards A. He actually smoked them all top. Then he get time to bloom. And as a result, Shmaw will not go for the peak. Decent utility damage with that nade there. Violent down to six. That's actually a lot of damage. Wow. Two pushed it down for about at least a quarter of their health. And he has to be fairly aggressive here out towards uh, bathrooms. And the A player has fallen off entirely. And three players are actually coming in towards uh, water here. Looking to just get control and maybe even push up and flank. All four players from T side here grouped up towards bathrooms. Jasmine slowly aggressing long, trying to get in a, an advanced position, maybe hear some noise. Here comes the boost up. Will they check, though? Will they check for Jasmine close? Jasmine sees the jump up. Does do a lot of damage through the wall, but Shane gets the kill on the Jazz. Here comes a two-player rotate up to A. However, the T's are not collapsing yet. And Max in this really advanced position knows they're here. It's the first kill. Repositioning, trying to push up, trying to avoid the crunch from behind. He does, and he swings out, but cannot get the second. Nost took a kill with an A. A lot of utility damage here. Also, the Molotov to the... Uh, prevent the plant for the T side. Dare through the smoke catches Asian. So strong through that smoke. And here comes the plant. Ooh, another good shot on the Shma at truck. Noxio eventually peeks out, gets one, but Snab gets the trade there. Right at the point of the bomb. And so Rise can another round on the board finally. A rifle round, no less. 2 7 now. Hollow Sports, though, still confidently able to buy. They have so much money. So tall and handsome. And Ryze tossing around weapons, still not great economically, even after that win. Aw, oh, Maddox, team player, throwing out the smoke monster for his fellow team members. And again, it's definitely lean towards A. Bomb is still dropped in T's bond, but three players, to or actually only two towards Fountain. One towards Khan. Oh, it's going to be lean again. Shane threw the smoke on a Jasm over that. Shma gets a trade, though. And Shma is rotating up through Khan. Shma actually got one in Khan. And he gets a second on Dare up on Party. Good frags. Now the last three players are here. It's Fountain. The bomb's been picked up. They should try to collapse somewhere. Maybe get some trades. It seems like their best bet right now. Their, their strats ain't working. The defaults aren't working. It's got to work together and just raw aim trade out. Good utility for uh, executes and such. Flash by Shane. The double stack long here for all of these words. It's a crossfire as well. Schma and Amatics. Here we go, though. They have complete bathrooms control, pretty much. Seated to them. And here we go. The Max slowly pushing long. Shma slowly falling back. They know the execute likely isn't coming in long. And yeah, they're all running up bathrooms. Shma falling back long. 
Smollied off by violent, but that's not where the main issue is going to come from. All three players on site, but now they're kind of stuck in. Shma whiffs the shot, tagged down pretty good by Snav. Those are some good shots. Shma showing 61. Snav gets the kill onto Noxio, and that's a 3v3. Violent knows about this flank. Maddox running through. Good shot by Violent onto Maddox. Should take it a little bit slower. Snav gets one onto Asian as well, and Shma peeks through and taken down by Shane. Good post plan by Ryze. I really didn't think they'd have that, especially getting boxed in by Hollow Esports. It was such a good read by uh, Maddox. If he started pushing maybe just a couple seconds earlier to give himself more time so he didn't have to run on that rotate, it would have been great. It would have been fantastic. But instead, the running gave himself away, and that was just a long flank for nothing. Here we go. 3 7 now, Ryze finally putting two rounds together. Now Hollow Esports are actually on a full eco here, a uh, save, not even a full eco, they have pistol armor. Only player on full save is Shma, trying to set up for that op. Everybody has Deagles, 5-7, P-15 armor. Double play con here though, Walker's expecting it, Shma taken down, that's the USP though, that's, a, that's the full save player. The other players should have a little bit more fight in them. Trying to pick up the pistol, looking for Jasmine, very aware, he catches Jasmine, takes a little damage, actually no damage. Look up water. Very nearly timing there. If Agent peaked a second earlier, you could have caught him on the drop. Noxio gets a Gwendig on the walk of the own con. Nade comes through though. Max peaks, whiffs the shots with the C with the uh was that five seven? There we go. Nox is the second with the AK. Now it's a 1v3 here. Will Nox go for it? Oh the bombs are from T spawn too. He can rotate up, he has plenty of time. They're pushing aggressively to get A control. Further teammate running behind with the bomb. They're working up con though. So they aren't getting A control yet. Noxio already rotated it up, but Violent so aware. Good pre-fire there. I don't know if that was a pre-fire if you just saw a shoulder or what. But it was a good shot, killing him through the truck with a headshot. Four rounds for Rise. That was expected. But Noxio did do good damage during getting two kills. Noxio hot this half. 14 and 5. And Maddox also 10 and 5. This isn't Maddox's map. Maddox's playground. Asian not doing anything. He never does anything when I stream it. It's unfortunate. He should stop streaming for the sake of Asian stats. Here we go. Shma peeking fountain. He won't see anybody. Nothing at all. Jasmine reading it well. Looks like he's going to go combo. He's actually falling back. Three player toward B, towards B here for all of sports. And all five players from Rise Nation kind of outside B. Looks like they're throwing their execute again. Yep, definitely sounds like it. I don't know why Auto Director is staying here. Lots of flash right there. That's a good flash. And here comes the execute. They're all going on the site. Good kill by Shane. Why am I? What's wrong with auto director? There we go. Good trades. Trade galore, actually. 3v3. Actually, 2v3. Walker gets another one from this same water position. Good headshot angle. It's a fake plant. Shma already graffiti. Oh, it catches the bomb planter. Snav word. I don't know why he didn't plant the bomb. Walker misses the smoke as well. Walker on 2 HP. Shma smoking himself off. Trying to get a one-way here. Trying to catch somebody. Good peek on the smoke, but Shma is aware looking for it. Catches Walker. Another last player is alone with the off Dare in a 1v2. Trying to catch that player in heaven. Jasper, but he's looking very passive. Actually looking to just go to Shma and play the bomb together. Dare trying to get himself some room. Shma and Jasper are looking to just play this crossfire with the bomb. 20 seconds here. He has to work fairly aggressively, Dare. There's no reason I isolate a 1v1 here. Trying to peek the offer. Will not work. Shma gets the kill. And Jasmine's there to back him up. Swinging as the as uh, Snap peeks with the offer. Dare peeks with the offer. Excuse me. I'm, I'm all over the place right now. Hollow the freak up, gamers. Let's go. 8-4 now. Hollow Esports. It's the end of that short streak from Rise NA. Now the rifle round's coming out. Asian and Shma both opping here. And Max, tall and handsome on that MP7. He's been practicing with that one. Let's see what happens. Five AKs again from Rise. It's gonna be uh, a lean much more towards A here. With the off shot, Jasmine sprang through. Does get one, but it's swiftly traded by Dare. Here we go. No, is this Max? Is this Max in connector? Swinging through with the MP7. Good shot on the Walker. Good spray down. Double headshot with the MP7. He's already out towards water. Now he has water control for his teammates too, and they can just rotate up A. And Max tagged down heavy though, down to 12. Now it's a 2-2, holding 2A, 2B in. Lost three players from Ryze are walking up long. No control, just having to peek the angle straight up. They have some decent utility. Three smokes, two Molotovs, and two flashes. 
Looks like they're saving it for the side execute here. Shane, looks like he's just lagging. I don't know. Could be why they called the pause and started the game, but... I mean, yeah. Here comes the smoke, eh? First smoke, smokes off at the bank players. First reaction smoke, that's too a little late. Both players currently have the ops. Good shot by Darren to Schmoss with the smoke. Dare loves those smoke shots. Asian though with a trade from Truck. Snav jumping up, catches one, and now it's a 2v2. Equalized. Asian still on Truck though with that ops. Trying to shoot through. He gets one on the snap. Good flash as well, full blind player. Ooh, gets, he gets a Maddox though. Maddox was low, and now it's a 1v1 here for Asian. Dropping down, good shot with the op. Maybe Asian should op. Good 3k for him, and he's finally waking up, it appears. Up to 6 and 7 now in the half. Yikes, Asian. 46 ADR though, he's coming up from 26 where he was at not too long ago. Look at this utility damage though from Hollow Esports. Look at the like look at the flash spread here, like 6, 9, 11, 6 versus here. 0, 14, 9, 32. That's quite a difference here. Anoxio, top frag, 102 ADR, 104 utility damage as well. Alright, let's see what the, the ground call is here. Looks like they're playing kind of passive towards they letting the Molotov uh run its course. They don't have the utility to put it out. Rise on a pistol by here. It looks like Hollow Esports will likely get double digits here in the first half. Let's see what happens. Looks like they're getting short control here late. Throwing an SC. It's a lot of nades, but it's core gear after. It looks like it's quite solid here. And Rise falling back, grabbing the bomb. Shane, yeah, he's lagging hard. Unfortunate. Snav again, lurking up long. Same setup throw from Synoxia for the one way water. I don't even know that's one way. It looks like I missed. Here we go. Snav throwing some fake nades towards A. But Jasmine's already up close behind it with the UMP, so he knows that they're not going behind it. He knows it's going to be a fake A. And here they come contact that monster, but Asian from Heaven gets one. Anyway, I spray, peeking through, sprays down Shane and Violent. Peeking down short, and they, now they know the last two are there. Snav and Walker. Walker tries to push up, taken down, and Jasmine on the flank catches Snav and Khan. 10-4 for all Sports. Last round of the half. Solid half from all Sports. Very good. Very proud. Again, looking at another one-sided uh, event here on Overpass, as it's always been. I mean, all Sports. I'd say this is probably their favorite map at this point. Here we are, smoke. Again, towards monster. Four players, actually three players, maybe four. Yep, four towards A or connector. Again, a heavy lean towards uh, A. Actually, all five are going that direction. Small picking up the smoke. Not expecting Violent to be so aggressive. Violent gets one, and Desmond getting aggressive long is taken down as well. That's 3v5 very quickly here for Rise. This could be their... I mean, this could be something for them, I guess. Fifth round on the board is better than four. Yeah, they're sitting there gonna run right into this uh, rise. They're slowing down a bit. They had two towards long. They were going pretty aggressive at first. Now they're just kind of lined with it, slowly working up. One, two, Amatix, three, Amatix. Behind enemy lines, Amatix. Falling back, he gets the main advantage single handedly. So tall and handsome. Let's see if he can get any more. He's peeking through. Walks into the crosshair. He dinks him down. If he was any close, Snap was any closer. That's a fourth kill right there. And two players already on the flank from Hollow Esports. And the plant's coming down. Easy tap on a Snap. He was dinked down to one by a max. Now it's a 1v2. He knows one player's there. Asian peeking through. Shane caught totally unaware. That's why we're both players flanking. They're just that smart, tall, and handsome. Amatix. The flank arena. Absolutely massive. Here we go. Here we go. No downtime, immediately into the pistol round, and three players from Holly Sports by utility and pistols. Two P250s, uh, smoke flash on Schma and Nox, and then a smoke molly on the Maddox. It's gonna be 
kind of spreading out here. One towards A. That's some Maddox. I think I might be throwing a bit of a fake here or something over the top. But the short play. Oh, the flash is good. But Noxio with the flank and Asian there with the, P the Glock. Equalized. They actually get the main advantage here. Now they're already grouping up towards B. Two players short, one player monster. And that's a PD-50 picked up by Asian as well. And Max now lurking down Khan. Playing two players towards B and one towards A. Noxio showing contact towards uh, short. Here comes the nade execute. Smoke and flash. Here you go, Max still looking up A though. And it looks like that those executes are just going to be a uh, fake. And Max smoking off dumpster. There's a player that's going to swing out. This is all down to the pistol I'm here. And Max, even though about to get a uh, flinched out, he does manage to get the kill. Bomb points going down truck. Both UTs are already on the rotate. Agent should have heard at least one. Re smoke here, dumpster. So it's a little bit off. The plant isn't exactly perfect. Oh, we saw the player. Good shot by Noxio. A bit of lag on the go TV there. Now 1v4 for Walker. Walks in the shot of Noxio. Noxio on fire this game. Three kills from him in that round. 20 and 7. So tall and handsome. Holy cow. 12-4 for Holloway Sports. I can't see Rise climbing the way out of this match. Climbing the way out of this deficit. Eight rounds down. Losing pistol in the second half. Holloway Sports looking to shut it down as well. Buying two rifles. And look at how confident they are. Max is just buying, not even buying anything except for armor. And, I mean, Rise will concede this round. Only buying some upgraded pistols. Nothing crazy, though. It's going to be a straight long play here from Holloway Sports. Just running up. No respect. Max only on the USP. Let's see if he can get anything done with it. Or if he's just going to get double dinked. The back is coming through. They have it a bit, but both the first kills going the way of Hollow Esports. Noxia and Shamal taking down. Jasmine getting a third as well. Max holding the flank. It's one with that USP. That's got a sting if you're a CT. And the last one in long bathrooms. Will Max expect it? We're going to go watch Maddox. He's not even looking that way. Now he's looking that way. Here's the step. Walker gets the kill on to in Maddox. There's actually only one tap. Max was low. Here we go. Trying to find another one, but still two running up. Tried to pull out the taser. Maybe get something done with that, but that will not happen. Jasmine gets to kill with the Mac 10. Farming that money. And here we go. Asians finding the positive. 9 and 7. Didn't notice that. It's good to see. Knox on 21. Still an absolute beast. The Max on 18 as well. That play. So easy for a Maddox will, I know. See that 3k right there with the, the AUG? I gotta clip that. Send it in the Maddox column of cutie. Here we go, though. First rifle round for the CT series. Rise, they gotta dig themselves out of this hole. Lots of nades here towards Fountain very early. And Hollywood's versus pushing straight through that smoke. No uh, freaks given. Already pushing a very aggressive bathroom. So they already passed the players. But the SMG there, or not even SMG, Dare just whiffing a lot of shots. Definitely gets the kill. I guess he gets the second as well. No head armor. That's a poor read from Rise. Should know Holly Sports is going for that bonus. And Jasmine gets a third. Opening it up. Shane on the fast rotate though, because those get one, but the bomb isn't even going A. Everything Jasmine got there, even beyond the first, was just extra. One player rotating fast, but will not expect Asian to be close. 1v3 now for uh, Shane, and I don't even see him going for this. He shouldn't. Holly Sports using all their utility, keeping him out. But they don't really have to. They don't have to convince him to save. Because he should be saving. Good crossfire here from Asian. And I believe it's, is that Noxio? Yeah, Noxio here on Graffiti. And Max the only one holding the headshot angle towards Heaven. Shane's actually staying close by. Hoping to get some exits here in Heaven. Looking. And dinks down Noxio. But whips the rest of the spray. Noxio down to two. Does secure the kill. Rise. Why are you looking like hot garbage? About 3k on most players. It's unfortunate. 14-4. Penultimate match point for Hollow Esports. Penultimate match point. 14-4. They have full rifles now. Krieg on Schma. Love the Krieg. Cam showing us him. So he's probably going to get an, a little bit of a pick here. And Rise, they do half buy into this. Some pistol armor, some pistols, and a scout. Here we go. Scouts are getting aggressive here towards Fountain. Peeking through. Does it get a kill on the Shma? Shma, you gotta know that spray down. 
Nox is going to trade, though. Water control taken quietly by Rise. No real nades to accompany them. But Holy Sports are already out here. Noxio does get the spray, but he's taken down to three. Another player short here. Snap. Deagle spams Asian down. And here we go. It's a 3v3. 3v2 actually for Holy Sports, but Nox is oh so low. Good shot through the smoke. Barely sees his foot there in the bottom left. One player in con and Max gets the kill. No head armor. Trying to get the USP kill. It's not going to work. You have to hit those double dinks and he hit none of them. There we go. Match point for Holly Sports. 15-4. Rise get another rifle round out here. Finally not. But two Kriegs on Holly Sports. Schma and Jazz Pimp. Four Augs in an op for Rise. But honestly, it's going their way. I think Holly Sports can fairly confidently put this one away. They shown to be the by far superior team here. On T and CT side, actually. Molly short. Fairly aggressive here towards B. It's supposed to be a default here. Two towards A. Oh, it's aggressive play here. No, he gets timed there, Dare, but he managed to get the good flick shot down. Schmal looking to trade. He knows no, there's one still close, but it looks like he's backed off. Dare down the 1 HP from that Molotov. Getting away by the skin of his teeth. So it's a man advantage here for Rise, but just barely. Asian, so some presence over towards B, throwing the smokes. And Maddox slowly working this. Oh, he kills Walker. There we go. Not even the player that's tagged down. Dare still towards the long bathroom. Looking for a player from Holly Sports to cross in the bathroom. But they will not actually. There we go. Schmont taking him down. And two players coming out B. Violent. Putting the headshot angle there from Tox. It goes to the kill into Asian. And now it's a 4v2 here for Rise. Nox and Amax, the last two. Amax is on a site, though. Firmly in enemy territory. That's been the theme of the, today's game for uh, Maddox. Good shot on the snav there. He knows there's a player long still. That player long the bathroom, the op. And Noxio wisely backing off in the bomb, clearing all of his angles. He knows they could have pushed and gotten bomb control. He's actually going towards B as well. And as we can see, Ryze is beginning to lean towards A. They know Max is there. And they don't know where Noxio is. Looks like they are playing a retake B here. Max trying to find people. 20 seconds left. Making room for his teammate Noxio, who's going out B now. Dare slowly pushing up a long. That picture is so. It's giving me the heebie jeebies. There we go. He has the info. Max is no longer there. Max is going towards B. He's out heaven into water. Now the bomb can go down. But Shane gets a call into a Max as he drops. And now he's going to try to the planter. Bomb does go down though. Noxio gets some extra money. There you go. Money's still looking great on Hollow Esports. Rise will get the defuse. But they're going to have to drop rifles over to their teammates. Still, three players five. And the op is still in the hands of Rise. So that's, that's uh, something good. Something going their way. But Noxio can drop an op over to Schma comfortably. Actually, I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to drop him the Krieg. They want to keep the uh, pressure and the speed relatively upbeat here on the T side, which I can respect. The Krieg is still like a little zoomer, right? Let's see what can happen here. Lots of nades here. We're trying to get aggressive here again. Dare towards Fountain. Peeking over. That Molotov kept the players from the... Oh. There we go. Boost over. Dare gets one. Jazz Pimp. Snap gets the second one. and short on Noxio. Max and Khan, though. Here's the player drop. They're trying to use the one way through the smoke. Max walks through, but Walker's away and catches him. It was a good read by Max, hoping that he'd hold the top of that. And Max would sneak by in the corner of his, his zoom scope. So much control now given to Rise. Purely because Holly Sports lacks the man power. Walker looking up Khan now. And the last two players are here towards Fountain. The Asian and Schma, the two Lil Zoomers. Let's see what can happen. Yep, Walker already out T-spawn. He's trying to flank on B, but the players will both be towards Fountain. And yeah, they know the Snav is rotating over. He's beginning to feel it. it's not towards B, and rightfully so. Two on A now. A third rotating up as well in Shane. And both players coming up Fountain now. Alright, coming up short bathrooms. I'm taking down. Good trade, though. Asian, though. Making room. Gets two. Now he's checking his flank. He knows they were behind at some point. Hoping to catch somebody rather than plant the bomb. He needs to just do economic damage. He's tagged down to 15. Now looking for that player dumpster. But there will be nobody there. Not yet, at least. They're holding for pushes. There's one bank. And Asian walks in the crosshair. Does do damage to Shane. Nearly takes him down. Tags him down to 32, but he will be uh, executed via headshot. Rise putting up a fight here, not going down. 
at that early score line of 415. Stringing two together now. Holly Sports, though, still in the round, still in the game. Uh, not giving up yet, not not seeding to a save round. Still have a uh, AKSG. Technically, he's only, actually, no, it's a fullback. Jazz Pimp and a Max, both on Mac 10s. That probably means they're going to go aggressive somewhere. And all five are coming up Fountain here. Good spot by Dare. Need this decent damage, but not as much as it could have. Okay, they got to come up bathrooms fast. Dare running away for his life. Trying to not get overwhelmed. Get overwhelmed. Coming up Khan as well. Walker. Dare gets one. Walker gets one. Jasmine gets one. And here to go. All the kills go the way of Rise, except for exactly. Shma. Last alive. 1v3. Does get one with the Zoomer. Trying to look back around. Trying to catch uh, Walker on the flank. Walker is tagged down. Shma thinks he's towards Khan, but he's definitely not. He's towards that long battle position. And there we go. Walks right into his crosshair. Good kill by Walker. Good flank as well. Well timed. There we go. Rise string three together now. 715. And most players survive there. Money's looking better for them, but money doesn't matter at this point. If they lose, they're out. Holly Sports finally forced onto a save round. Pistol armor. A Mac 10 on a Maddox. Let's see what he can do with that, I guess. Noxio and Asian on those Deagle armors. Let's see if they can do what Rise Nation did in the previous uh, half and get some pistol rounds. Or get a pistol round to win the game. So again, going to be aggressive towards A. One player lurking in con, that's Nox. And with three rise players towards B, and not much info gained. Here they go, they come up bathrooms pretty quickly here. Dare catches one. Agent looking for the trade. Actually, it's Schma. Schma gets the deagle shot there. Good shot. That's the opt down. Now they're all rotating up, throwing nades. But the bomb's already going back towards B. They have that lurk up short in Noxio. It's a re-smoked though. Violent being diligent with these utility there. Making sure that Hollow Esports can't, uh, I mean, I guess, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Abuse, there we go. Abuse or expropriate the lack of info from, uh, for Ryzen A. Three towards short. Maybe equalize. There's two A, two B. And yeah, Walker's flanking long. You might catch the last player lurking A uh, in a Maddox with that Mac 10, but nothing more than that. Schma, though, actually catches Shane. On B. Spam comes through. <coughs> Catch him on the boost, too. Walker gets one, though. On the Schma as well. He actually lurked down Khan, it appears. Noxio on the Walker. Good shot through the wall. I mean, what's Auto Director doing? Auto Director. A Max lurking through bank. A Max theme has been behind enemy lines. Okay, Max, we're going to. I mean, I guess this is play we're watching him to watch to watch for your kill. But I mean, a max whiffs the spray there. He kill, he hits him down, but he hits the Mac 10. Nothing crazy. So he does a lot of damage. Down to 27. Or actually, down to nine. If he's just looking at Nox's health. Nox on one, Jasmine on 27. Op and AK. So they do have rifles. Is a 2v2 now. The op is on site, looking towards bank. But both players are coming here towards trash can. Good shot by Noxio. And now Shma knows, or not Shma, Jasmine knows the last one's there. Playing behind dice. Good shot by Jasmine to secure the round. There we go. That is the game for Hollow Esports. 16 7. Very dominant game. From, let's see. I'm pulling up the stats now. It's, it's going to refresh the page so we can read all the stats. Maddox and the rest of Hollow Esports are now 6 and 3. Six games in a row. Rise and A now proceed to 4 and 5. In the negatives now. Maddox, top R dubs for that game, 17.6, 22 and 13, had 111 ADR, really picking it up on T side. Noxy as well, 27 and 10, 105 ADR, 16 and a half R dubs. Jasmine also not slacking, 86 ADR, 73 on Schma and 50 on Asian. It's a bad, it's a curse with Asian, honestly. He uh, never does good when I'm streaming. It's, a, it's uh, unfortunate. He's scared. No one from, uh, actually, Walker did quite good on. On Rise, even though his stats don't necessarily show it, he's in the middle of the pack with R dubs, but he has 90 ADR. Probably keeping his team in there. No one even close to 100. Everybody else is around uh, 60 to 70, with Violent taking up the 38. So, kind of a bad showing for Violent, which is unfortunate, but everybody has bad games. So, that being said, it was a good game. 16 7, fairly convincing for Hollow. They had a 4 11 4 half and only lost three rounds after getting 15 4. Stumbled a little bit, but kept their composure and won the round very convincingly. I uh, hope you enjoyed the cast. I've been Pineapple Phillips as the caster. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can follow me on Twitter or 
I mean, Twitter, my Twitter at's in the title, uh, or my Twitch is at pineapple underscore Phillips. You can see me in the chat. That being said, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, have a good night, everybody, and take care. See you in the next one.